If you're trying to figure out how to post your podcast on your WordPress website, then this is the video for you. I'll show you how to create a template so that it's easy to embed podcast audio files and then post them week after week. And I'll show you how to display a list of all your podcast episodes so that you can display your list on a page on your website. Let's dive in. Hi there, I'm Christine on with Rive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that. We publish actionable tips every single week on how to add various features to your WordPress website and also how to run an online business. So be sure to subscribe to see more of our content. So let me start by showing you what we're going to be creating. I've got a fake website here and I've created a page just for my podcast. And by the way, the method we're going to use to create this section, you can use it on any page of your website. So if you wanted to add this to your homepage, you can absolutely do that. Now, if I click on a podcast episode that I'll be taken to a page where I can listen to this podcast episode, of course, you're going to put in your actual podcast, not just something that you've grabbed off of Spotify. And then you can also read notes on this episode. Now, the best part is that putting all of this together is actually quite easy, especially if you use Thrive Theme Builder. Thrive Theme Builder is a marketing focused WordPress theme that is geared toward anyone who wants lots of layout choices, lots of pre-made templates so that you can get up and running quickly, and also the ability to customize those templates to your exact specifications. What's nice about Thrive Theme Builder is that you have complete control over the look and feel of your website, and you can easily add components as your business grows. So you can add podcast episodes, you can add a section for YouTube videos, and if you purchase Thrive Suite, you will get our entire collection of tools at a really fantastic value. And then you can add lead generation opt-in forms, online courses and memberships, quizzes, and more. We'll be sure to link to Thrive Theme Builder and also Thrive Suite in the description. All right, so enough chit chat, let's start building. First, ensure that you have Thrive Theme Builder installed and activated on your WordPress website. So after purchasing Thrive Theme Builder or Thrive Suite, if you want to get all of our tools at an amazing value, then you'll need to log in to your Thrive Themes account and then download the Thrive Product Manager plugin. Then go back to the back end of your WordPress website and then go to Plugins and Add New and then upload the file that you just downloaded. Once you've installed Thrive Product Manager, you should see it appear in your left sidebar. Go ahead and click on Thrive Product Manager and then just follow the prompts to install the products you need. After installing Thrive Theme Builder, you'll be prompted to start going through the site wizard. So let's go to Thrive Theme Builder, and we are right now in the site wizard tab. Here is where you can upload your logo, you can choose a main brand color, and you can also choose layouts for your header, footer, homepage, etc. Now, all of the theme templates that come with Thrive Theme Builder are 100% editable. So to edit your theme templates, go to the templates folder inside of Thrive Theme Builder. Here is where you can see and also access all of the theme templates that comprise your website. So you have your active home page. You also have a template for your default posts and your default audio posts, default video posts, default pages, default error 404 and more. Now for a podcast, a good place to start is customizing the template for your individual podcast episodes. So I'm going to edit my default audio post template. Now I should note, you don't have to make any edits here if you don't want to. If you want to just get up and running quickly, feel free to skip this step. But if you do want to do things like change the font or the layout of this top section, or if you want to make changes to the sidebar, then this is the place to do it. The thing to remember is that this is a template that will be used on all of your individual podcast episodes. So there's quite a bit of dynamic information. For example, the title of the episode, the category, the number of comments, the date, those are all dynamic. So here you'll need to stick to making stylistic changes only like colors and fonts. You don't need to change the actual title or the actual date. If you want, you can also change things like the layout. You can drag things around. You can change background colors and borders. Now everything is click to edit. So if you want to edit the date, simply click on it and then use the options on the left. If you do happen to delete a dynamic element, it's actually really easy to get it back and you'll know it's dynamic because the stack of coins icon will be blue. So let's go ahead and let's delete the post title. 
And then to insert a dynamic element, click on the stack of coins. For the source, we want post. And then in this second drop down here, let's select post title and then click insert. And so now we have our title back and let's go ahead and let's delete this here. So I think that's enough to get you started. I'm going to let you explore the rest of this template on your own. Just remember that this template is to be used for individual podcast episodes. It's not an actual podcast episode itself. Next, let's create a post for a podcast episode. So at this point, you should have already uploaded your podcast audio file to a service like SoundCloud or Spotify. So let's go to posts and add new, then go ahead and enter in the title of your podcast episode. Then on the right side under post format, select audio. Then you should see some new options appear. For the post format, the file I'm using is going to be on Spotify. So I'll click Spotify and let's go to Spotify. And then you can simply copy the link for your episode. And let's hop back over to WordPress and I'll paste that link in here. Now, as with regular blog posts, you can also select categories. You can select a tag. You can also upload a featured image. I'll let you explore the rest of those options on your own. At this point, let's go ahead and let's save a draft. Now I'll show you how to add notes to your episode page. And I would recommend using Thrive Architect for that because there are so many different elements you can add to your page to make your content more engaging. So let's go ahead and let's launch Thrive Architect. All right, so here we have my individual podcast episode page. If I had uploaded a featured image, it would be shown right back here. And the place to add notes for my episode is right here in the post content box. So you can add things like images, text, and more. To do that, go to the add element button on the right. And here you can see all of the elements that you can add. So you can add text, images, buttons, and much more. To add things to the page, simply click and drag the element you want and just click and drag that into place. To customize any of the elements you've added to your page, simply make sure that it is selected in the breadcrumbs and then use the options on the left. Next, let's add a list or a grouping of podcast episodes to a page. So let's go ahead and let's create a new page. Let's give it a name and let's launch Thrive Architect. Now we have a few different options here. Any of these options are fine. It just depends on what you want to create. So if you want to create a podcast page that uses the page template that you selected in the site wizard, that would be the first option. If you want to use just the header and footer that you're using everywhere else on your site, that would be the second option. You can also start with a completely blank page or you can use a pre-built landing page. Pre-built landing pages are pre-designed templates for things like sales pages, webinar signup pages, and thank you pages. If you want to add podcast episodes to any of those pages, you absolutely can. But for now, I would like to create a page just for my podcast, and I would like to use my header and footer that I'm using for the rest of my site. So I'm going to use the second option. Now, the first thing you'll see here is add a block. Blocks are pre-designed templates for entire sections of a page. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. So as you can see here, there are dozens of blocks to choose from. I would like to add a block to the top of my page. Let's take a look at the hero area blocks. And I think this one would look nice. Now there's just a couple of things about blocks I'd like to mention. First, you'll notice that the colors automatically updated to match my main brand color. That's one of the things I selected in the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard. And also everything here is super easy to customize. So text is click to edit, simply click on the text and start typing. Now, if you need to remove any elements that you don't need, that's really easy to do. Simply click on it and then use the trash can icon. If you need to replace any images, that's also easy to do. Simply click on the image. Then in the main options tab under background image, just click replace image. And then you can choose a new image from your media library. Okay, so next let's add our podcast episodes. Now I would like those to appear in a section between this section here and the footer. So let's go ahead and let's add a background section. 
I'll go to Add Element, then I'll click and drag the background section into place. Now I'll click inside of the background section and I'll make sure that background section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And let's add the post list element inside of this background section. So I'll go to add element again and let's search for post list. Here it is. And I'll simply click and drag that to inside of the background section. Now the post list element comes with several different templates. So you shouldn't have a problem finding one that suits your needs. I'll use this one. Now everything that's being shown here in the post list element is dynamically displayed. So if you're going to make changes to this post list element, stick to stylistic changes only. So for example, you might want to change the color of this border here. If you'd like to do that, that's really easy to do. Simply click on the post list element, make sure post list is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the edit design button. Then click on the element that you would like to customize. So I would like to edit this content box here. Again, make sure that the correct element is being highlighted in the breadcrumbs. So we'll need to click on the content box. And then let's go to the borders and corners tab. And let's change this from blue to a tan color. And as you might notice, that changed the border color for all of the other um, elements here as well. And that is because everything in the post list element is grouped as you would want it to be grouped. So for example, if you wanted to change the color of this text here, that's also very easy to do. Just click on the element and then go to the main options tab and then select a new color. The last stylistic change I would like to make is changing the color of this icon here. So I'll simply click on it, make sure that icon is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to the background style tab and I'll simply choose a new color. All right, so that's it for my stylistic changes. I will click done to get out of that sub menu and let's move on to post filters. Now the post list element is an extremely powerful element because it has a lot of customizability and not just in appearance, but also in what you can display. So make sure that the post list element is selected and that it's highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then go to the post list tab on the left and then click filter posts. So we do want a custom query. We do want to display posts. Now for filtering, we do want to add a rule and let's create a display rule based on formats and let's add the audio format. So now everything that's being displayed in our list has to be the audio format. Okay, so moving on for the allowed front end filters, you can leave those as they are. And then under order, you can select the arrangement of how your audio posts will be displayed. For now, I'll keep these settings as they are. Okay, so my post list element actually did not change because I don't have anything but audio posts for the last uh, nine or so posts. Now there's one thing I did want to show you. If you're running into a space issue, for example, down here, that is also really easy to fix. Remember that the post list element is inside of a background section. I'm going to select the background section using the breadcrumbs, and then I'm going to go to the layout and position tab, and I'm just going to add just a little bit of padding here. And I'll do the same thing for the top. Okay, so that spacing looks a little bit better. Now, if you have a lot of podcast episodes and you want to give your visitors a way to filter your podcast episodes, then we can add a post list filter. So let's go to the add element button on the right and let's look for the post list filter. I'll simply click and drag that to on top of the post list element. And so these are the categories that are assigned to my podcast episodes. Just like how blog posts in WordPress can be assigned categories, so can your audio posts. Now the post list filter element can be customized. So let's just make sure that the post list filter is selected and highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then let's go to the main options. And I'm going to let you explore these options on your own, but I did want to make sure that I pointed out that you can show either buttons or we can show checkboxes. 
You can also show um, radio buttons. And you also have some filter options. So for example, if you wanted, you could filter by author or tag. For now, I'll stick with category. So those are the basics of adding your podcasts to a page on your website. Don't forget that you also have a variety of other elements you can also add to this page. So for example, you can click and drag some text to right above these buttons and you can say something like, click the button to filter by category. And if you need to, you can even add multiple post list elements to your page. All right, so let me wrap up here. Let's go ahead and let's save our work and let's do a quick preview of the page. And just to show you the post list filter working, let's select the email marketing button. And here are my email marketing podcast episodes. So that was how to post a podcast on a WordPress website. I hope it was helpful. Let us know down in the comments if you have any questions. Now, if you don't have Thrive Theme Builder or Thrive Suite yet and you want to learn more, links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.